One, two, three, clap. Hey everybody, it's me, Reza TW. Or I guess this isn't TW, this is Reza Double O T P, I guess. <laughs> Aren't I fucking funny? Anyways, yeah. This isn't, as you probably expected, this is not, as you can probably see as well, this is not Rev Pro. And this is the first video I'm recording since the first batch of Rev Pro episodes came out, so. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, if there will be a delay, there's probably a delay on that series. That's not going to come out for a while because I am very ill right now. I've got, it's not COVID, but I've got, just a really bad cold. Bad cough as well, so if I cough during the videos, later in the videos, again, sorry. <laughs> I can't really do much about it. But this is the, this is out of the park baseball because I may be British. But I do like watching me a bit of baseball, and I am a Toronto Blue Jays fan. So I think there's no real better way for me to do a baseball series on this channel. That's not going to be the show. And, and I think there's no better way to start it off than with my boys, the Toronto Blue Jays, featuring some ballers on this team. There is some high-key ballers on this team, including AL Cy, winners, AL Cy Young winner this season. Uh, Robbie Ray, uh, runner-up at MVP, Vlad Guerrero Jr., he's going to be the key piece for the future, and obviously Kevin Biggio, or Marcus Simeon, who's not with the team anymore, so that's Ray, but we're starting off from the beginning of this season, so he's he's still here now, who knows if, I mean, if I go back to one of the goals for this year, is not only to break the playoffs, upgrade at third base, which I don't know if I'm going to do, because I really do like Kevin Biggio. And sign Marcus Semyon to an extension. So I'm going to have to make a decision if I want to follow real life or if I want to go with what I think we could have done this offseason instead of going out for Kevin Gorsman. We could have re-signed Robbie Ray and brought Marcus Semyon back. But you know what? That's fine. I don't care. We're in this tough AL East division with three contenders. Then there's us. I think, honestly... This right now, I think the Yankees, they always do really well in these, in these simulations, so they'll probably be top of the division. That's who we're going to be playing in today's game. And there's then there's always the Rays, who are fucking brilliant. Love the Rays. Hate the Rays, but I got a couple guys. I know a couple guys who are Rays fans, so gotta like the Rays. I also hate them, whatever. I you, love hate relationship. I like how the Rays are built. Hate the Red Sox and hate the Yankees, though. Good fucking lord, them looking... <laughs> God, I hate them motherfuckers. And then I also have I've got nothing wrong with the Orioles. We spanked them like twenty two to six in one game this season. That's great. And for those of you wondering, no, I'm my name's not James. My last name's not Diallo. It's a randomly generated name. Just move on. It's time. Yeah, if we go to the opening day, there's your opening day fixtures. Jays at the Yankees. We'll start off our season. Hopefully we can do something. And yeah, here's our owner goals. So we reach the playoffs. Upgrade at third base and sign Marcus Simeon. And I believe that is it. Top five players on their team are Garrett Cole. Yeah, he's he's pretty good. Uh, DJ LeMayhew, Chad Green, obviously their closer. John Carlos Stanton, and then this guy, Judge. He might be pretty good. He might hit a couple bombs. He's pretty good like that. Jeez, what the fuck? He's, he's, he has the only bit in the league for two. Uh, ignore me. Alright, in this three-game series, Reeve, Matz, and Stripling will be taking on Garrett Cole in the first. I'm worried. Garrett Cole's so good in these sims. And, yeah, we're missing our cue, a few key players going into the start of the year. As we go down to the injury list, which is somewhere. Play... Ross and Transactions, here we go. On the injury list, Nate Pearson, Robbie Ray, our Cy Young winner, Kirby Yates, who's brilliant. Star off-season signing George Springer, key center fielder, and then LeBron, Jack Zero, LeBron. Uh, I think there's nothing better for us to do than just get into the game, I guess. So, yeah, they're just loading up our team. As you can see, the boys in the top right. I've not actually looked at what our starting lineup is. I just had a whim to start this as of right now, and I think the best thing to do is to. Set all to other things because I think it's boring if I could just do it. 
And it's not really a playthrough for me, it's a playthrough of let's see what my team can do. So yeah, as you can see, we beat them. We, they say Semyon and Vlad are better players than LeMahieu and Stanton. I agree, but you know what, it's fine, we'll move. But then the rest of our lineup's kind of weaker. Got Grichuk out and Sano as the replacement. Biggio, yeah. Obviously, Stein Pitcher Ryu. We are in the we are in the world of the DH. It is the AL after all. And Boone. Uh, yeah, there's not really much else to do, is there? Our lineup is Bichette, Simeon, Guerrero. That will start off the year. Let's play ball, shall we, lads? Welcome to the out of the park baseball here at Yankee Stadium. Fifty-two thousand people out there in forty-six degree winds, which is it's not actually 46 degrees. It's 46 degrees. American. I'm sorry. Who knows what that actually is. But here we are. See key players out there. Look at their lineup. You got Hicks, you got LeMayu, you got Stan and George Glaber. Fucking Clint Frazier, Geo, Bruce, and then El Gary. We'll see what happens. Boba Shett will lead off the year for us. Let's see what we can do. Welcome to opening day. Sunshine's expected all day. 46 is Sunshine, apparently. Cole takes the mound for the Yankees. Bichette cracks it. Going right field. It's going. It's caught. Fuck. That had me excited. I thought we just scored on the first play of the game. But Semyon up next. He cracks it. It's going to go foul. It's going to be caught as well. Infield fly. As it comes. Vladdy. Cracks it right field. It's going to fall in for a base hit just over the first baseman. That's huge. Let's get the rally going. Two out rally here in the top of the first. As Teos is up to bat next. It's a nice little line drive in the center field. Vlad's going to go, go three. Vlad gets it. Let's go, Vladdy. Vladdy gets three. First and third, two outs for Rowdy Tellez. What's he got in his locker? Rips a little single. Out. Unfortunate as to start off our season, we will have Ryu on the mound oh, against Aaron Hicks. Come on, Ryu. That, oh, that was cracked to center. Caught by Randall Gritchick. Pretty simple. DJ LeMay up next. This game rates him highly. And it's going to be a little weak ground ball to Bichette, who gets the play at first. And Stanton on the 0 oh, the 1 0. -oh, we'll line that one straight to a Kevin Biggio, and that will be, that will retire the side, three up, three down, for the Yankees as we go to the top of the second, Lourdes leading off for us, strikes out, first K of Garrett Cole's season, up comes Kevin Biggio, who will go up, oh. only to Clint Frazier as he makes the catch in left field, Randall Gritchick, what can he do, swings and misses on the full count pitch, Cut at 75 miles an hour. That's a brutal. It's not even a cut. It's a Brutal. And up next is Aaron Judge. I'm scared to face him. Here he comes. Strikes out. Two true outcome kind of guy. Glaber up next. This game rates him highly. He cracks down deep to left field. Is it going? It's fell into the glove of Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Thank fuck. That's Clint Frazier. Sells into the bag. Weak little ground ball in the 1-1. One -one. Beats it out. Alright, infield hit for Akita. It is Clint Frazier. I've, I've read the thing up there. So the right. Gio Urshela, oh my god. Oh lord. Well, not the best of starts to this season as a 347 foot bomb from Gio Urshela. It's a home run. It'll be 2 0 Yankees. It's, everyone in that lineup is devastating and. One, well, it's not even a bad pitch, it's a, a relatively slow fastball, but what can you even do there, man? Gio Urshela knocks the ball out the park, it's 2-0 Yankees. The 1-1, one, one. into the shift. Bruce goes down. Alright, well, two runs and two hits for the Yankees. We're going to have to get something going here with catcher Danny Jansen off the bat. Takes ball four, that's a leadoff walk, good to see. A four count, a four pitch walk as well. That's huge. That is huge. I don't know how many he's thrown forty pitches already. Okay, we might be looking at an easy exit. Here comes Bo. Back to the top of the lineup. Cracks that. Absolutely nukes it to left field. 
Left center caught nothing. No stragglers held up. That ball looked so far, but it was just end of the day, nothing much. Simeon up next. Marco Simeon will lie ground into double play. Fuck. <laughs> a 5-4-3 double play. Shit. It comes El Gary. Sends that one just leaks through the shortstop. Just over second base and yeah, it's gonna be a base knock on the full count. As the 2-2, Aaron Hicks destroys that ball to left field. It's a no doubt home run into the bullpen. Making it 4-0 Yankees in the bottom of the third. This is not looking good for us. DJ LeMay, you up next. Jams on the inside, it's gonna be looping up for a base knock on the 1-1. One, one. Oh, this is not because this has not been a good start today for the Blue Jays. Giancarlo takes a looking strike three. Okay, that was shocking. Aaron Judge cracks it up the middle for another base hit. It's going to be first and second with one out for the Yankees and Glaber Torres. Hopefully, we can ground into a cheeky old double play, please. Thank you. To second, to first, bang. That's exactly what I was looking for. Five, four, three, double play. Sensational. Here comes Vlad. Come on, Vlad. Do something. And strikes out. Shit. Say Oscar. Full count. Come on. <sighs> Check. Swing. Strike. Three. Criminal. Rowdy on the 1-0. Or the 0-1. Cracks it to like... Cracks it. Ball's flying. That's going to be out the wall for an easy double. I don't think Rowdy has the speed to go three. Doesn't. But a cheeky old double. So maybe start a rally here. Two out rally in the top of the fourth. Lourdes up to bat. Well, cold strike three. God damn it. Clint Frazier. Lead off for of New York. Swings and misses. Ryu, well done. Need to get Ryu through these easy ones. Gio Urshela up next. Two run bomb on the 2-0. And it'll be a nice... Good, good play from Captain Vigio there. <laughs> and oh my god. As I'm looking away to try and not cough into the microphone, a ball flies straight past Simeon's glove <laughs> for a base hit. El Gary! Oh my fucking god, that ball is cracked! Just barely over the fence, El Gary 352 makes it. Six to nothing Yankees. Oh lord. It's not been a good day as the manager has made a change already. Anthony Kay's coming on in relief. Left handed pitcher will walk the first bat. Oh my god. Oh, I don't like that. The fact that we had to pull Ryu in the, in the fourth inning. Three and a half innings through, had to pull him. All right, cracked up. Oh, it's going to fall in for a base hit. Oh, the Yankees just don't stop coming. John Carlos standing, cracks it to center field. Grichuk's there to end the frame. Oh, my God. Just, please, end it. Kevin Biggio, do something for us. Just a little grounder to first base. Unfortunately, Biggio goes down. Here comes Randall Grichuk. What can he do? Randall will take ball four. Cole loses him there. Cole really wants to get through this inning. Probably wants to get through the rest of the game. Danny Jansen will just look at the 2 2 pitch. What was that? Loba shit up to bat. Cracks it. Absolutely mashes that ball to the left center field. Forget about it. Back into the bullpen. The first home run of the year for the Blue Jays. 422 feet from the leadoff man, Boba Shet. Making it a 6 2 ball game. We're not out of it just yet. A beautiful crack in the long ball. Now, Semyon, what can we do about that? Cracks into left field again. It's back to back jacks for the Blue Jays. <laughs> Garrett Cole's lost it. He's lost it. It's a 382 feet bomb. As New York may have the lead, but the lead has been cut in half. What an absolute bomb from Vla for as as back to back at bats, back to back jacks. That is sensational. A phenomenal performance, both getting the jacket treatment as we could make it back to back to back. Here comes Vladdy. 
Who goes up? Oh, what did I say? What did I say? It's caught by Aaron Judge. Boring. You know what? Three running. That's exactly all we need to get back into this game. It's going to be sensational. What can K do? Maybe K, but he's popping that ball off the center field. It's going to be a fly out. As Grichuk, barring any error, will track that down and catch it. Glaber. On the 1-1, one, one, we'll line that one into the hands of Boba Shit. And Clint Frazier will swing and miss for a K. Three up, three down as Teoscar Hernandez steps in to lead off the sixth inning. Cracks it to center field. It's not going to have the distance, I don't think. No. Kicks out there will make the catch. Rowdy Tellers, one for two, double in the fourth. What can he do? Oh, gets it past the batter. And he's going to go two. Gets it as well. On the full count. Digs for second. Two bags. That is a, that's two doubles in the year for the relatively slow Rowdy Tellers. Okay. Lourdes up next. What can he do? Cracks that onto right field. It's looking like a no doubter. It's going to hit the wall. That will definitely score Rowdy. Even on the can of an arm from Judge, it looks like it's going to be a two-out triple. Not two-out. He will make it, I think. He does make it. All right. Is it? What the fuck? That's an inside the parker? Holy shit! I thought that was Rowdy coming around to score. That was Gurriel. Holy fuck! We are on fire, lads. Garrett Cole, who? Yeah, that's what I thought. Hook him after he gives up an inside the park home run. What the fuck? That ball was cracked. I, I, well, that has shocked my ass off. A 3-1 pitch. Kevin check swings. Gets the ball forward. But oh, my God. I, I, as it, that's the first time I've ever seen an inside the park run this game. Gee, and it was Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Oh, my fucking God. As Biggio gets the steal. And Algarian will get more on the... On the error at third base. Sensational. L. Gary gets the E1 at catcher. As Grichuk tries to put the ball in the air. Bitcho better be tagging on that. Actually, better not be at Aaron Judge. Be careful. Yeah, don't run on Judge. He's got the cannon. And it's a pretty shallow fly ball as well. Benny Anton will take all four on the full count. Fuck me. One start with the full count walk. As Bitcho, not Bitcho, Jesus Christ. Bo will step up with runners on the corners. Two out. The 2 1 pitch. He cracks it. It's high. It's going back. And Hicks was camped under it. Sadly, he cannot score. But oh my god, does the inside the park home run? That shot my ass up. Jesus Christ. Come on, Kay. What, what you got in the locker? Ooh, that ball's cracked. Oh, just it's fucking lined it out. Guriel perched under it. Jay Bruce. Let's face K. Cracks that one. It's a right field. Should be an easy play for Tay Oscar. Easy catch. As El Gary up next. He will smack that one into left field. Looks like it's not going to be coming back. Yeah, no, never mind. Guriel perched underneath it. And all of a sudden, it's all looking Blue Jays. It's the 1 0 pitch coming to Marcus Simeon. He will weakly put that into the third baseman's hands. Who is... G. Washella. I can just see it there. Vladdy knocks that one into the hands of second baseman DJ LeMayu. And Teoska, can he do something here? Strikes out. Unfortunate. Okay, as much as I'm saying we're, in the, we're, all, we're all in the game, let's take me out to the ball game hour. It's the bottom of the seventh pump. We still need to score. We need, still need to score a run. <laughs> Aaron Hicks. Cracks that one. It's going to be an easy single base hit. As, yeah, he just kind of cracked that one over the, over the heads. DJ LeMahieu up. Bunt. Goes for the double play. What are you doing? K goes for the double play and bottles it. Stanton, the batter. Oh, my God. Thank fuck. He strikes out. That was a terrifying pitch. And more sluggers up next. D Judge strikes out as well. K's on fire. Anthony K. Going for three in a row. Won't get it. It's the 0-1. Oh, and that's going to score. 
Never mind, that's a bomb of a throw from Randall Gritchick. He's tagged out of the plate. We need to get something going here. Top of the eight. Lucas Legute. I, I don't ask for that. Big Lucas coming into play as the relief. Tellez can't get anything. And here comes apparently the slugger, Lourdes Gurriel Jr. As he strikes out on the 1 2. Gavin, what you got in the locker, son? 0 oh, 2 on the day. Cracks that one high. It's going to be a fly ball. Just got under it. <coughs> No runs, no hits on Arizona. We've only got one chance left. Anthony K's put up a pretty good performance since coming in. Nice, gets the K. No pun intended, obviously. Gio Urshela up next. One out. Leaks a little ground ball to Pope Shed. That will be a, another easy out. Jay Bruce. So he got in the locker. Looks at strike three. It is the final chance for Toronto. Chad Green, the closer, coming in. As we saw, one of the, one of the, I think it said it was that he was the second most feared player on that list. It's going to be dangerous. The, the, the three-one. It's not a, it's not a pitch that you're looking at. It's going to be ball four. The man on base for the Blue Jays is Randall Gritchick as Danny Jansen, the master at drawing the walk on the full count. He will leak it up, and Chad Green forces the double play. Oh, killing the moment, and Boba Shet's our final hope. What can he do? Cracks that up her field. It's going. It's going to fall in for a base hit. That's what we need to get the sluggers up. Here they come. More importantly, Marcus Simeon goes yard already in the day. Cracks it to left field. It's caught. Clint Frazier gets the catch, and the Yankees will win on the day against the Toronto Blue Jays my heart there's your box scores if you're interested in that kind of thing your box scores that that inning that 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 top of the that, that top of the sick that got me scared i was oh that was a a good day for batting just i feel like we could have definitely done more three home runs is not bad more home runs no we tied with home runs and then but we just the bats got going really late they just Got going really late, and obviously it doesn't help with a pretty bad start from Hyunjin Ryu. But it's not the it's not the worst of days. It could have been much worse. Pitching lines got Anthony K had a really good showing at the end, only allowing three hits and four innings, only one walk, five Ks. Pretty good performance, and all oh, Ryu with the fat old 15 ERA going into start the season. That is sensational. Player of the game is right as Gary Sanchez. I have to thoroughly disagree. But you know what? With <laughs> he's the only man on the entire field with the fielding error. But you know what? It's fun. It's fun. We'll leave him. He did kind of do pretty well. You know, with the whole home run thing. And it was. Oh, I, don't, I don't want to talk about it. That was an entertaining game to say the least. But that will do it for today's episode and hopefully the start of a new series of Blue Jays franchise. Hope you lot enjoyed this long form video. Hopefully, I have more of these coming out soon. But, um, yeah, don't worry, TW content's not going to stop. Probably I should have prefaced this at the beginning. I will still have TW content out soon. I'm just wrapped up in a lot of life stuff right now and don't really have access to the... I don't I don't have access to the TW save file because it's off somewhere. But, yeah, oh, if, you, if, if you've made it this far, I hope you can... Uh, if you make it this far, I hope you stay tuned for the next episode, which I think is going to be the... I think it's going to be an... I don't know what I'm going to do next. Because obviously I'm not going to go game by game. Otherwise we're never going to get through it. OOTP fucking 54 will be out by the time I've come made it to season 13. So maybe it will be the draft next episode. I'm not sure. Maybe it will be the draft trade deadline kind of thing. I don't know. You'll, you'll see next time. It will be in the title I'm sure. But yeah that's been the end of today's episode of OOTP 22. Blue Jays franchise. Um... I'm waffling again. Run out of things to say. Shit, I remember it. I remember in things. I'm just that good. Yeah. Um. Uh. Shit. Yeah. In a, in a bit. <laughs>